in this video I am going to show you how to download Kava and then how to replace the old Kava installation with the new Kava version for that first we will need to download Kava ok um, so in the section 2 from the manual you can click on the download link this will take you to the github project of Gava. once the this web page is loaded you can click on the um, source code zip file this will download the latest version of Gava. and then in download you should see the gava hyphen one dot zip file apart from this i have also downloaded the demo genome and the sample data that i'm going to use it for this demo if you want to download same files you can use the download link given in the manual here uh, in the recommendation box after that I will show you how to open the terminal for that uh, first you need to go to the finder as shown in the instructions here go to the finder then click on the application and then click on the utilities and then under it you should find the terminal app here and then double click on it it will open the terminal so now the terminal is open next we need to replace old Gava installation with the new Gava version we don't need to repeat the installation but we need to delete old Gava version and the copy the new package to the same location so for that first we'll go to the home folder okay and then will delete the old Gava package here delete then we'll delete the zip file as well present in the home folder okay now there is no Gava package in the home folder so next we'll go back to the manual and we'll use the command shown in the manual to copy the new fully downloaded Gava package to the home folder for that open the terminal first then copy the command shown in the uh, shown in the installation section change directory to the home folder and then unzip the downloaded newly downloaded package okay done so new gava is ready to use we don't need to repeat the 5.1 section which is installation of dependencies we can directly use it for the analysis okay here first we'll need a genome one can download the genome uh, for using the link shown in the recommendation box on the page number eight and then use the command shown on the same page to copy genome to the genomes folder first change directory to the home then create a directory called genomes and then change directory to the genomes as you can see there is no file in this folder so we'll copy the latest download downloaded latest downloaded genome we need to change a little bit here in the command we need to change the file name because we are going to use the demo genome so uh, and its name is hs underscore demo dot faster dot gz enter after that we need to unzip that genome but as it is not tar file we are going to skip this step and we can directly double click on the genome file uh, uh, to unzip it go to the genomes folder then double click on it that's it it will extract the genome and we'll create a hs underscore demo dot fasta file and this we are going to use it for genome index builder tool 
So next we are going to start Gava using the command shown in the section 7. Chain directory to Gava package. Then use the java minus jar gava dot jar command to start gava. Enter. Select genome index builder tool. Both I to load the genome FASTA file in the genomes folder. Okay, then we will keep the same folder as the output folder. Open, start. It will take 5 minutes to create index of demo genome file. Okay, now it has finished the uh, genome indexing. Now click on the OK button. This will close the program. Go back to the menu, manual. Next, we will run the ATAXA data analysis program. For this, we will need to start Gava again and we will need the sample data. So I have already downloaded the sample data from the Gava website. Here there are links for sample data and the sample genome. You can click on these two links to download the data. Now go back to the sample data folder and double click on the sample data zip file this will extract the all the samples and it will have four different samples with the eight files one for r10 and one for r to read each okay finish now then uh, we'll start gava using the command shown in the section 7 We'll just copy this command to the terminal. Enter. This will open the Gava. Okay, and this time we'll select the ATAXIC data analysis program. Okay, now load the R1 FastQ file using the R1 FastQ button. from sample data byl719 or replicate 1 r1 dot first cube then r2 select the adapter trimming option then change both i index to the both i2 and then browse the index file genomes it should be in the genomes and then select any of this file Change the genome assembly to g 19 Select the chromosome M because we don't want the reads aligning to the chromosome M and add it to the to be removed list. Click on the add. Okay, then click on the OK. Now it is green, that means we have selected chromosome for filtering. Then you might want to change the RAM and the CPU. Or you can keep it to default then select the output folder okay open then start the analysis click on the start analysis button okay so we will wait till it finishes the analysis now it is checking the bioconductor packages required for the analysis. Now trimming the adapters. This program will take 10 minutes to finish and then the results will be ready. Adapter trimming finish, fast QC finished. Alignment finished and now doing alignment filtering. Alignment filtering finished. Alignment shifting done. Generating tra data tracks for IGV. 
done fragment distribution graph done quick annotation done finish now results are ready we can browse the results so first tab is about the input parameters and the alignment results so there were around 1.3 million reads out of those 97 percent reads were aligned to the genome and around 248 reads failed to align there were around uh, two percent reads which were of low quality and 3000 reads were aligned to the chromosome m the, uh, furthermore alignment filtering statistics which shows the duplicate reads and the reads are uh, aligned to the blacklist region and then total useful reads plus the peak calling results next tab uh, has fragment distribution graph next tab has fragment distribution graph here and then after that the peak annotation table one can browse the peaks and view in the IGB last column is uh, gene symbol column one can search the peaks near to any gene using the gene symbol suppose I want to search a peak near to the MAK gene I will type MAK in the gene, in the gene name box and this will shortlist the peaks near to the MAK gene suppose I want to visualize the peak overlapping with the MAK gene which is the first one I will click on the right peak and then click on the view in IGV button this will open the IGV and will load data tracks automatically to the IGV click loading genome okay now our tracks are in the IGV I will just change the uh, scale to the auto scale here is the peak that we are visualizing which is overlapping with the MAK star side okay zoom out next step contains the bar chart which shows the peak distribution in different chromosomal regions sixth, uh, sixth step contains the enriched gene ontologies and the last step contains the enriched cake pathways okay. one can click on the open output folder button to open uh, open the folder containing all result files this contains the uh, all the required files for the downstream analysis and it also contains the graphs for example fragment distribution graph mm. then first QC report then adapted in first Q files functional annotation files bar chart and other uh, files and then pick calling files from max2 then all the results are also copied to the excel file which looks same as the UI one can use this file to visualize the results in the future just double click on this file to open it here we go first alignment then alignment filtering results fragment set distribution graph peak annotation table bar chart
gene ontology analysis and the path analysis okay and then click on the close button to close the java that's it closing igv done thank you